All right, don't get tricked by the hype of cost segregation. Everyone online is talking about how it's the best thing. And it really, really is if you've got assets and you've got passive income. But if you're not an active real estate investor and or you don't have a lot of passive income, well, then you need to evaluate it and make sure you're not just doing cost segregation studies because someone told you to do it and you're not getting the benefit. Who's making money on are the cost segregation study groups and the accountants and putting all the data in your tax return. So if you're not an active real estate investor where you can apply that accelerated depreciation against your active income, then you're probably not getting the benefit unless you're talking about big money. If you have big passive income, well, that's a different story. And really why I say this is because there's so many folks that are out there going on the websites, doing the cost segregation studies on hundred or $150,000 houses. And there's just not enough of depreciation, even accelerated depreciation they can apply against their earnings. And if they're applying that against long-term capital gains, well, you better have a lot. And then secondarily, if you're a real estate professional and you can apply that against active income, great. But did you just pay $1,500 in fees to offset $2,000 in accelerated depreciation against your active income? Probably not worth the most scheme of things. You need to do assets that are larger and evaluate those against active income in the highest tax bracket sectors to really get the benefit.